All right. Uh, Leaf autographed basketball slabbed uh, number 104. Good luck, guys. Jeff B down to Paul Lee. Let's copy and paste. Here we go. And we got a 30 flip guys' names in team seven times each. All right. Frank G to Jeff B. No, man, I, I just I never thought about the hockey question, to be honest with you. I, I've always thought about the other three, but no, that threw me for a curveball on hockey. All right, teams are next, guys. All right, Bucks to the Celtics. I figured as much, man. Yeah, it's usually what happens with Bowman. Bowman's best. I, I got a whole stack of it, too, guys. Don't worry if you missed it. Actually, not to sound crazy, I, I could even even see myself being a Red Wings fan because of, uh, you know, they're, they're, I, I liked Iserman and, and Chelios over there too, so. And then Hashik was over there, Osgood, all those guys. I, that, that's tough. My all-time, Ed uh, Belfour, yeah. Yeah, Ed, Ed's my all-time favorite hockey player, yep. Yeah, him and, him and, uh, him and Jeremy Roenick. All right, good luck, guys. Here we go. And, of course, my boy Taze now. And, 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 and Ch I joke about Chelios, but Chelios too, of course. Even though Chelios killed me when he went to the Red Wings, that's still, I, I still like that dude, man. I get it. It's the business of sports. Probably better to cut this. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I have not done one of these yet, so let's see. Let's make it something good. Okay. So we know it's a Beckett. Okay. Let's see here. Bob Lanier. Lanier. Right there, got the old bullets uh, uniform in the background. Check that out, huh? Bob Lanyard right there, authentic autograph from Beckett. <clears throat> Man, you would have thought they could have used a little bit, maybe smaller um, slab there, huh? Nice, uh, nice auto, though. Nice photo, too. Lanier. Bob Lanier. All right. Bab Lanier. You would have thought they used a little bit, a little smaller uh, slab there. You know what I mean? All right, I would assume. I know he played for Detroit and Milwaukee. Okay, his longest tenure was Detroit. Played for Milwaukee for five years too. Let me see if there's any identifying. That looks like a Detroit uniform. Let me see here. So they have a red version too.
I, I'm looking this up now, man. I'm looking this up now because it's longest tenure is Detroit, ten years. I, I'm just I'm 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 looking at the uniform to see. Longest tenure is Detroit, ten years, and then he was with Milwaukee for five. See the uniform. See that looks like. Okay, here we go. Okay, per, okay. I, I've already settled this. Okay, here this is settled right now, guys. It's gonna go to Detroit, but and I'll and I'll show you why. Right there, so that matches up this photo. So that's yeah, that's what I thought. Detroit. So very good, very good, very good. Yeah, what wasn't that crazy, man? A sixteen-way auto. So just a heads up, guys, um, if this ever comes up again, uh, retired players always go to longest tenure if we cannot determine a team. Now, I, I went a little bit further here because, you know, if that clearly was a Bucks uniform, you know what I mean? We're, I'm not going to I'm not going to award that to Detroit. So I'm just I, obviously I'm going to use common sense and say, hey, let, let me look at this for a second, because if that, if that was clearly a Bucks jersey. I'm not going to award that to Detroit, so that's why I did that. So just a heads up. And I think you guys would all agree that's very fair. So Frank G, that is you, sir. Very good. But if that comes up again and we cannot determine who it goes to, then it used goes to the tenure rule. So I just want to point that out. So very good, guys. That is uh, Lee Photograph Basketball Slab Photo 104. Thanks for joining.